I wanted to talk about this real quick topic of patience. Uh, it was just something I had heard on a podcast uh, that kind of triggered it in my in my brain as something that I might want to discuss. And it's something that I think is super important because a lot of people are stuck um, in the waiting process or in the waiting uh, game. And it can be frustrating uh, when people say, be patient, right? Hey, I want to have this happen. I want to do this. I want to do this. But you know, I just can't seem to find the right opportunity. I can't seem to find the right um, mentor. I can't seem to find the right, you know, whatever. And the person on the other end of that conversation always says what? Be patient, right? And one of my favorite quotes that I heard uh, from my mentor's mentor, that's interesting, mentor's mentor, um, was when one door closes, another one opens. We've always heard we've always heard that. All of us have heard that. When one door closes, another one opens. But he took it a step further. He said, when one door closes, another one opens, but it's hell in the hallway. Yeah, when you say it's hell in the hallway, I've just got this mental picture in my mind. And you say you have to do something to get out. Literally, there's people that are in those situations in life right now. They're in the hallway, but there are doors up and down both sides of the hallway mm -hmm. and the only way they can get through it is to move yep. move try this one hit the one. knock on this door open try this door try this door it's like that aggressive patience it's like active aggressive patience because a lot of times patience seems like very passive but it's like no you're you're hustling and you're you're going all out but you're patient and waiting for your opportunity the more patient you are uh the quicker things seem to level up the quicker success seems to come to those that have the most patience like if you pray for patience god's not going to give you patience he's just going to give you the ability to be patient <laughs> which can be frustrating right like if you pray for patience but in turn what god gave me was this the ability to be patient which is not easy because you're impatient so it gives you the ability to form that patience over time i've been talking a lot about patience is that it seems like the people that are the most patient, the things are happening the fastest to, mm -hmm. it's like, well, that doesn't seem like a good use of it. Like they're, they're patient, so let's <laughs> allow them to use that patience. Um, but I think I got to this place in my life where um, I was okay with where I was at, uh, okay in that I felt like I was on an upward trajectory and that I was on the cusp of something great and knew that it would take time. And so because of the patience that I had during that time, things started to happen really quickly. But it didn't happen overnight, yeah. uh, certainly. And it, it happened through probably 20 years of a normal person's workload condensed into those four and a half years. You know that, that old scripture, give us to stay our daily bread. Well, when God said that, he didn't promise to provide the bread and you would just sit on the couch and wait for it to get there. The intention was for you to go out and work. There are opportunities out there where you can live life on purpose, with a purpose, make an incredible living, and make a difference. Uh, for those of you that are interested in looking at the opportunity, I mean, I don't know what the commissions that I made today uh, were. It's probably somewhere around seven to nine grand today in commission. Uh, today, in one day. Um, so if that's something that you may be interested in, um, we'd love to have you um, join us. Get out of the hallway. <laughs> it's hell in the hallway. <laughs>